Good morning, everybody. Hello and happy Sunday. It has been forever since I've been live with you guys. I hope you have a beverage of your choice. I've got my yummy coffee here. I'm going to move it out of the way so that it doesn't spill because I'm super clumsy like that. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. I missed you guys. I have so much to talk about and show you because it has been forever and lots of exciting things have happened in the last three weeks, it feels like. All right. So I am on just a few minutes early, but you can see at the bottom of my screen, I have a hashtag in color club. That is my giveaway hashtag. Make sure you use it so you can be entered into win. I have a fun little prize. It's from the new catalog. Um, to give away. So make sure you are entered by doing hashtag and color club. And if you haven't already, um, make sure that you have gone in and shared your Facebook username with StreamYard. So StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. You need to do that on an internet browser, whether it be on your phone, tablet, computer, just go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. Log into Facebook, share your Facebook name. That way I can see you. And I believe it helps when you go to do the hashtag, making sure that you get entered into the hashtag. For example, somebody said, hey, sweet lady, hope all is well. Hey, Facebook user. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see your name. So in order for you to be able to, for me to be able to see your name, make sure you go do that. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Karen. Finish a thank you card for me. Karen, you did not need to finish a thank you card for me. I can't wait to see it, but... I I was so bad. Karen waited forever for her prize. I am the worst, you guys. Getting my life in order and getting things out in time has been the bane of my existence lately. So I apologize. Uh, anyways, I, 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 I have so much to show you guys and talk to you about today. I have a project that's going to be adorable that you guys are going to want to see. It's using new stuff and retiring stuff. When I tell you that I went through the retiring list and like tears were falling and I was so upset, like it messed up my mood bad. Um, so I am having a hard time with the stuff that's retiring this time. Um, so we'll we'll be talking a lot about that. I'm sure you guys have been mourning all the things that you're seeing in the retired list as well. But I want to take us back three weeks because I went to on stage in Houston and it was an amazing time. I'm sure you guys were sick of all the pictures I was posting. I got to hug some amazing women that I've been meaning to meet for a long time, specifically Brittany and Vicky and, um, oh, now I'm drawing a blank. Oh gosh, Kelly. And oh, I'm gonna, I'm like drawing a blank. Uh, shoot. Okay, it's gonna come to me. But there were so many people. It was just fantastic. And then to be with my roommates, Elizabeth and Anita and Belinda, and Belinda being the amazing host she was for me, picking me up from the airport and driving us around and just, she was amazing. Um, it definitely filled my cup and it inspired me and it motivated me. I'm a very competitive person. So seeing people walk across the stage was really exciting. I got to walk across the stage twice, which, uh, um, but it was just very inspiring, very exciting. And um, I just really had an amazing time. Um, so I wanted to show you just some of the swaps that I was, ma I managed to get and all the little trinkets and goodies. We'll quickly go through that. And then I want to jump to my retreat, which happened the week after. And I want to show you guys, so you can get a little kind of inside glimpse of what I do at my retreats, what they look like. So let me fix my camera. First of all, you don't need to see, um, see all of the mess on my desk. I just keep this little rectangle clear and the rest of my desk is covered in craziness. So you're not allowed to see anything but my little desk here. Okay, so this is going to be on stage stuff. First off, I have to show you this adorable book that Elizabeth made me and her roommates, uh, all the rest of her roommates, Anita, Belinda, myself. And it's a little photo book for me or for us to put our on-stage images in. Isn't that the cutest little clever book? I can't wait to um, try and recreate it myself. I absolutely love it. Um, just, I got some fun little 3D gifts. Um, this one's a, a cake in a cake in a mug. 
mug treats, cake mug treats. Um, this was from Brittany Moon, which it was amazing to meet Brittany. We've got some fun collaboration ideas for the future. This was, um, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not going to remember who's done what, where, why, but I do remember some of them. This one was Sherry's, my roommate, or not a roommate, but my, one of my team members there, Sherry and Terry were there. And Sherry made this cute little bee one and it had chocolates in there. I think one of the chocolates must have fallen out. Mind you, some of this stuff's going to be a little mangled just because um, I had it in a suitcase and was trying to protect it on the way home. Um, this cute little Tic Tac holder. Oh, it's got Tic Tacs and chapstick, I believe. And this tiny little baby box. It's like a little mini box. This is one that Elizabeth made. Look how cute that is, you guys. Some really, <clears throat> excuse me, some really cute ideas from people. Um, this one is a another little mini Tic Tac holder. Um, I only made cards to swap, but some people were sweet enough to, to, um, to uh, give me some of their little handmade 3Ds as well. Cute little purse. This one is a has a, a whole roll of mementos uh, mints in it from Randy. One of my Stampin' Sisters came up and gave me one of these. I love it. Super cute with a little cactus pen. Cute little bead chocolate. This one's from Crazy Flamingo Lady is what it says. Nancy's Nancy Shelton. Look at this one. This one was really cool. It's like a space cube. Looks like it kind of got crunched a little bit, but it had a little spaceman on it. And it's got a cool um, little geometric shape thingy thing going on there. And then inside were some starbursts. So really cool, clever idea. Oops. I don't know who did it, but it was very clever. I'm telling you, it's a whirlwind. It there's like there was like 3,000 people there and um it was just it was just chaos. All right, I'll take you through some of my swaps. Now, I'll tell you, I swap with everybody. I'm not picky. I don't look at what they're what they're swapping with me. Everybody swaps a little bit differently. I mean, we all put a we all put effort in our cards. And so I always just get whatever I get. And I love the variety and the talent. Like somebody decided to color a bunch of swaps. Like that's crazy. Look how gorgeous these are. Look at this one. So pretty. And some people put their names on them. So like Liz, this was Liz's swap. Super gorgeous, obviously. Layers and layers of beautiful, beautiful work that she did on that. This one's a pretty little Tuscany view there. I love the colors on this one. This one's very pretty. This one is, oh, this is Anita's. That's right. <gasps> Look at this one. So super colorful. I love this one. This one's really cute. Celebrate. So I got some really gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Love the coffee paper. Hello there. Love the astronaut. Got a little pretzel. This would be a great masculine card. A little birthday card. So many, guys. So many. Thank you. Got this one with the bee paper. Look at the little yummy chocolate ice cream cone. This one's a cute one. This one is a full one for the cows. <laughs> What's moo with you? And it just catches on there, but and it's got a little cow sleeping up there. So much work, all that die cutting. This is a very pretty one. Look at all the gold accents in that one. Oh, this one's cool. I love these. I have to open it so you can see. This one's by Kelly Geesey. I hope I said her name right, but it like folds, it's like a pocket. I don't know. I think it might go like this. And then you just tuck them in, I guess. I don't know how it works. Like that. Like that. There we go. Cool, right? Like a little ninja star. Makes me think of a ninja star. This one was really cute with watermelon suckers or lollipops and a little holder by Sandra Flowers. Look at the little rooster. So cute. Lots of coloring. 
Lots of coloring there. Little Easter treat. Let's see what else. We got this one. That's a fun, popular design. This was one of the swaps that I did. I had an extra. This one's one of the swaps I made. Another little coffee one. A rock and roll card. Look at this cool bee. Super cute. Look at this one. Some gold accents. This one's really pretty too. We got this one. And the submarine. This is one set I did never, I never got the punch with the submarine. I like getting ones that I don't have. They are daisy sets. Love the daisies. Cute little bee. Little teacup. That one's pretty. Another fun one of those. I can't remember what they're called, but I like those little designs. One of my favorites. Love this one. I love the coffee. Look at this one. So cute. Adorable. Another little ice cream cone. I like how they cut the cone down so it's like a cup or a bowl. Okay, and Dawn, I'm going to tell you this right now. Like, I'm so bad. Like, Elizabeth and Belinda and all them were, like, meeting their, they were, you know, starstruck and meeting all their people. And I don't know who anybody is. I am so bad with names. And I don't have time to, to like, be watching and following people on a weekly basis and things like that. And so it was funny because I, you know, I, I, people, they'd be starstruck and I'd be like, oh, I don't know. You are. It's so bad. It's so bad because they're super talented. And I just, I, I'm just living my own la la land. So bad. I don't have time. I don't have time. I wish I did. But I've got a lot of inspiration from all of these different cards and everything that I got. People are super talented and I just love the variety. Just really fun. What a great way to get on oh, this one. I think the ribbon came off, but Janet Cartwright. I think I know that name, Janet Cartwright. Okay. Cute little butterfly one and a patch quilt one. That one's really cool. I like the pattern on that. Dahlias, right? This is the Dahlia set. This one cute with the hot air balloon. Another little cow one. Daisies. Daisies. Can't have enough daisy cards. That one. And then this cute one with the cherries. Okay, so that's it. That's all my swaps, which is a ton, a ton, ton, ton. And I made, I want to say I made 60 swaps or 65 swaps. I had a butterfly swap. And I had a, um, that, the bird, the bird swap, this one. So those were my swaps. Lots of layers, lots of layers. <laughs> Took me forever to put it together. Um, I didn't, I didn't go simple and I should have, I should have gone simpler, more simpler. But I struggle with simple, you know? All right. So that is swaps from on stage. It was a magical time. I don't ever want to live in, in Houston, though, because it was too hot and muggy. And I think the whole time I was there, that's all I did was complain about the weather. So I apologize to my roommates who had to hear me whine the entire time. But so that was all the goodness. And then, of course, our team, we did some extra, you know, a little make and take night. We had a little fun team night. Okay. So then I come home. I turn around and I go host in a retreat in Ellensburg, Washington at a retreat center out in the middle of the woods for 27 of my closest friends. <laughs> and it was an amazing time. But I want to show you what I do in my retreats, what comes in them, um, what I gave my um, retreat goers this time. Um, so what my retreat is... Um, four days and three nights. So we went up Thursday night and we came home Sunday. Um, and it comes with $50 in product. It comes with eight make and takes that they can put together there at the retreat. And then the rest of the time is theirs to, to craft or whatever. I always give them some sort of tote. So this is like a little gardening tote. 
has all these fantastic pockets all the way around and it has this like bungee cord material so if you want to like tighten it up and tie it tie a knot and make it scrunch up you can do that um it's kind of hard to see but i like that and then i found these cute little bee charms so i put a bee charm on every single um every single bag and then um i have i always do a place center holder with their name so this one's for Feline. She's this. I'm showing off Feline's bag because she's got she's got it to go. So I've got to mail it to her. But I'm I'm combining it with another set thing that she got. So, anyways, this is Feline's um, nameplate. So I found these little um, uh, I don't know. They're like uh, picture frames, but they have a little clip here, so you can clip something on them. And I made a little beehive because that was the theme of the retreat. And then. I don't know where this came from. Came from something. And then I also got these little bee bags, um, and they are little zipper pouches. And I put some treats inside. So I've got some uh, honey bits of honey and some uh, Dutch waffles, those stroop waffles. So that was one of my gifts for them. Um, I also did a, like a pillow gift each day. So this was one that I did that looks like a little honey pot and it says you're as sweet as honey and inside, I don't know if I can open it without untying it. Let me untie it real quick. Inside is this cute little chapstick that looks like a honey pot. And when you open it, there's a little honey um, dowel thing, wooden dowel thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, but it's super cute. So they were inside these little curvy boxes. And I can tie that back later. And then the other one that I got or I did for them was this little um, box here. And inside is a pair of socks. Little bee socks. So obviously we had a theme. So a set of bee socks are inside there. Um, they also got, like I said, they got um, products. So they got two packs of in, uh, designer series paper, the lavender and the bee. And they got ribbon, twine, and embellishments. And then they got supplies to make the make and takes inside of their bags. So that was um, what they got from me. Um, it also included, like I said, um, the three nights and the four days, the crafting space where everybody had their table. And then we had um, meals, dinner, and lunch and dinner or brunch and dinner, it just depended on the day. Um, and then we would do things like go on hikes, walks through nature, laugh play games, we stayed up way too late talking, laughing, playing Cards Against Humanity, which is always crazy, it just gets out of hand. So that is the retreat. So then people want to make their own pillow gifts and swaps. I can't even show you all the pillow gifts. I'm not even going to try because there were 27 women and they were doing pillow gifts. Some of them did pillow gifts every single day. Some of them did like seven or eight pillow gifts. It was insane. So I, I can't even begin to show you all of them. But what I am going to show you is the amazing swaps because one of the swaps that I got was the inspiration for today's project. So there were three different swaps that we could sign up for. And so, um, these are just some of the projects that were in the swap. This one's a fancy fold of some kind. Oh my gosh. Would you just look at that? It's so cute. And then, you know what I love? I come away with so many ideas from these cards. So, so pretty. This one. Timber, I have fallen for you. Look at this one. Oh my gosh coffee and the bees and more bees so cute look at this one these ones are like bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> isn't that cute i love that this was one of my swaps 
and oh, Terry, what's in here, Terry? Oh, it's a fancy fold. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Terry did one of those pop-ups. And then this one, which I'm gonna set aside. I'll show you a little bit later. Um, and then we had some gals who don't do card making, but they do a lot of scrapbooking and they use their Cricut and they made some really cute cards too. And then look at this one. Belinda made this one. It is so cute. And I thought how freaking clever to use those countryside corner dies and make a little jar of honey. And she put tea and honey sticks and the little stir, stir, honey stir things. And super freaking cute. So that was one swap. I think there were 15 in that swap. And then there was 20, 19 in another swap, in swap two, and then 30 on the first swap. You guys look at this one. I have, I have cards falling everywhere, but look at this one. Tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever freaking saw. I don't know how she did it, but it's so dang cute. So cute. This one's a fancy fold, I can tell. Look at this little bee! The cutest freaking bee! So pretty. I love the way they use the postage dies on that one. This was another, this was my card. So I'll show you. Um, this is my swap. And I used the queen bee set. And it pops up like this. Definitely not my style, huh? It's not my normal style. But that was a lot of pieces and parts too. That was my second swap. This one that uh, Karen made, look how gorgeous that is. So cute. I love this one with the little snow and the polar bear doing a flip. <laughs> and that's embossed, that's cool. Love this one with the butterflies too. I love them all, they're all just gorgeous. Look at this one. Somebody uses their cricket and they made a fishbowl and it pops up with a fish. <laughs> so dang cute. And then this one was, um, oh yeah, the jar of cherries. Using the cricket. I need some serious cricket lessons because this is so cute. All right, and then the last block. Last one. Let me move these out of the way here. I can sort through it later. This was the this is the one that had 30 in it. So it was a lot. It was a lot. I'm telling you. Look at look how pretty it is. This one. <gasps> With the little chicks. <laughs> so cute. Oh, this one was cool too. The Stanley Cup. It's a Stanley Cup card. It'd be perfect if you're giving a Stanley Cup to like your friend for their birthday or Christmas or whatever, and you have a little little card to put in there. This was mine. I did the little bear and the honey pot. Case this right off of the uh, catalog. I think it was actually an online picture because this is an online exclusive, but I cased it right off of the online. Lots of coloring. I colored all those dang bears 30 times. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at those bees. Their faces. I can't. Look how pretty that is. So gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love the embossing on this one. Okay. Damn. I love you. <laughs> so cute with the beaver. <laughs> Look at this one, pretty one with the butterfly. I love the designer series paper in the back. Very cute, Melissa did that one. This one, Leisha did, I remember, because we were working at working on our swaps at the house together. This one with the calendar, super cute. Little rock star birthday, love that. Don't have enough masculine cards. Look at him, little porcupine, so cute. 
This one with the brush out paper, Cindy, love that, so pretty. Evelyn did the hummingbird, that gorgeous die set that went away, that's gone forever. Look at this one, so pretty, love that paper. Okay, one of my favorites, love this one. Uh, Carrie made this one with the shark, and I love the shark bite right out of the corner. <laughs> this is just so clever, love that. I love that he's wearing a crown and it's like tied around his head. Super, super cute. So many layers. I love all the layers. Miss Tam, she made this one. And it's funny because Tam did not know that we have a bee theme going on. She just at random picked a bee set. And it was just crazy how she how she got it right. Miss Susan, she made a beautiful swap. Look at this one. I love this one. I think this was Sandy. Yeah, Sandy made this one super pretty. Cheryl made this one, gorgeous butterfly. Look at that. Colleen did this one. I love these flowers. Debbie did a bee with the honeycomb. Love that. With this one, so pretty with all the detail. And this is the ribbon. I think Robin did this one. And look, it has little pockets. Very, very cool. Look at Danny made a little cow card. Another little cute beaver card. I think Amanda did this one. Super cute. And then um, one of the gals from another crafting group did this one, which was super pretty. All right, so these were the swaps. So adorable, right? And then I will show you just real quickly what my projects looked like. I don't know why my phone just keeps messing with me. Um, these are what the projects looked like. I had three of each. I think I had, no, I had four. Four of, four lavender projects. So this was one of my lavender projects. It's a three-tiered card. Like that. Lots of layers. Then we did this one where you ink up the die and impress the image. That was really fun. And then we did this one and we used those butterflies. So pretty. Um, and then we did a sampler, which I'm like, oh, where's my sampler? Here it is. This was the fourth lavender project was the sampler. And then we did four B projects. So we did this B project, this one. This one and this one. So that was my retreat, you guys. As like it was way over, way too fast, but it was amazing to prep for, amazing to do. It was just incredible. Okay. Now I'm telling you, we're talking a lot today. So hashtag in color. I know Wowza is right. Like it was amazing and everybody was so talented and I, I just love the swaps they were fantastic um and laughing laughed till I cried my ribs hurt the food was amazing the people were amazing it was just an amazing time um okay so I want to tell you about in color club because it's coming up we have five gorgeous new in colors and um I'm doing a club like I, I, I always do every year, I do a in color club. And what that means is that you can collect all five colors, break it up into five months. Um, you get a bunch of extra goodies from me for doing it this way and ordering those in colors through me. Um, and you also get make and takes and projects to do every month. Um, so these are the gorgeous new in colors, all five. We've got Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. Okay, so I did this little thing at on stage, but for any of my in color participants, you're going to get um, something similar to this that I'm going to create for you. Each month, you'll be able to glue a piece of your cardstock on and do a little stamp. And then these are for the markers. And um, yeah, these are for the stamp and write markers, but you can also use your blends too. Okay, so let me show you what I've done with my in color club. Um, I cannot show you, well, I'll get to that part. So, for I'm going to I'm going to be splitting this up because the cost of supplies is is increasing 
quite substantially. And um, I'm trying to keep the cost down for people because it does get very expensive very quick. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm just going to mess with this. It's just driving me insane. I don't know. I think my phone must be really heavy or something. Anyways, okay. Um, so the basics of my in color club is pack of paper, pack of cardstock, of course, spool of ribbon, gorgeous ribbon, ink pad. Of course, you got to have the ink pad, right? And the ink refill, which we don't have yet, but we will have those. Okay, and then so that's that's the basics, right? That gives you the basics. Um, and this basic club is going to be $45 and that's before shipping. What comes with it is that you will get two make and takes and a live class with me, whether it's virtual or in person to make those make and takes. It's going to be a card and a 3D project. And then at the end of those five months, you are also going to get, and I don't have it to show you. I wish I did, but I'll have pictures to show you when you sign up a 20 ounce tumbler with your name on it that has all five colors. So if you do all five months of In Color Club, you're gonna get that tumbler from me for free and it will mail to you for free or you can come pick it up if you're doing In Color in person for free. Okay, so that's my, this is the basics, $45 all five months and you get the tumbler for free. Now, if you're like me and you have to have more i have an option for that as well so this is the basics now if you do the if you do the um all in option you get the blends and the stamp and write marker and the in color paper the designer series paper and then as a thank you gift from me you are also going to get a sample six by six of each of the in color glimmer papers and you're going to get the package of embellishments for free so these by adding this to your in color club you're going to get these for free from me the other thing i wanted to point out i should have told you is that you will each month even if you do the basic or the extended you are going to get a in color um card it's laminated and it's glued to a piece of the color of cardstock um and so it will come with your color that month every month you'll get a different color so like let's say you get you start out with petunia pop you're going to get a laminated um color coach with your petunia pop by the end of the five months you will have a hook with some ribbon and you can put all of your cards together and have them so you have your color coach for the five in colors okay so you can get that with you'll get that regardless of which option you choose this the big all in all all inclusive um bundle is going to be 65 dollars a month um this is going to be 45 dollars a month and this because like i said you're going to add the markers and the blends and the in colors and then you're going to get this for free but both kits you will get, regardless of which kit you get, you will get the in color coach and you will get that tumbler. Uh, so it's an amazing deal. <clears throat> I'm gonna spoil the heck out of you guys. I have some amazing ideas. Every month your, your make and takes will feature a different stamp set. Like I said, we're going to have a an opportunity for you to come and do the class live or on virtually together so we can make the projects together and ooh and ah over the colors. Every month you're going to get a different color. It will be at random, but at the end of the five months, you will have all five colors. So that is my in color club. I will be posting a sign up for that now um, and sharing that picture of the tumbler so you guys can see it. Um, if you are on my team, I want you to get the in colors yourself. And so I have an offer for you to get the tumbler um, without purchasing the in color club because you can purchase the in color club yourself as my team member um, if you aren't if you didn't buy the starter kit under me you can do the in color club with me you can even as a demonstrator you can still do that um, and uh, or as a customer or whoever but if you're on my team I want you to get the in color stuff yourself with your discount 
and then I'll give you the information about the tumbler so you can go get your tumbler if you want it to match your pretty in colors, okay? So that's the magic, beautiful, wonderful world of in colors. All right, so I have one project. Do you have each color assigned to a month already? What color are you starting with? No, it's at random. So everybody's going to get a different color every month and it's and it's all random. So if you have like, if you have a preference, like let's say you, you wanna have one color um, first, you can let me know if you have a preference, but otherwise it's just random. So everybody will get a different color every month. So you, you know, one person will get Petunia Pop, the other person is gonna get Shy Shamrock, the other person is gonna get uh, Peach Pie. And in order, if, by me doing that, um, it's kind of, there's a rhyme or reason. I'm not going to be just buying all of one color each month. So, because I've got to divvy out a pack of DSP and I've got to divvy out the markers and things like that. So it just makes sense for me to give everybody a different color because there's five in a pack. So, okay. So that's happening. Um, so let's talk about... Oh, the other thing that's coming up too is I'm going to be doing an um, a catalog launch in May. So save the date, May 18th, mark your calendars. May 18th, in-person catalog launch. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to want to miss it. I'm hosting it at a local church in Richland. And then May 19th, if you're not local. So that will be um, virtual, okay? Mark your calendars. It's going to be freaking amazing. You're going to have until the end of April to sign up for that because starting May, the day we can start ordering from the new catalog, I've got to put my order in and prep like a mad woman so that I'm ready for that retreat. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show you. I made this one using the in colors. Look at the little banders. This is the stamp set I'm using today for the project that I'm going to be making. This is one of the new um, bundles. It's called Hearts and Hugs, and it's part of the pre-order. And as soon as it was demonstrated on the, on at on stage, I was in love. And the sentiments are all about hugs and giving hugs, and I just freaking love it. Oh, that's a great question. So somebody, oh, so Jenny says, what's you, what is your favorite new in color? So I actually wanted to pr propose that question to you guys to tell me what your favorite in color is. Because I know at on stage what they voted for and I know which one won the popular vote. But I want to know from you which one is your favorite in color. Now, for me personally, I am a turquoise girl. I love Tiffany Blue and Coastal Cabana. Those are my jam. I freaking love that color. But... I am also a lover of green at heart. I love green. And I think turquoise kind of falls into that category a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. I have been mourning the loss of um, Call Me Clover. And when I saw Shy Shamrock, I fell in love. So Shy Shamrock is definitely my favorite. But I'm going to tell you, I love all of these colors. I love Summer Splash. I love pretty in pink. I love peach pie. Petunia Pop is probably my least favorite just because I'm not a purple girl, but I still love it. I still think it's gorgeous. So all the colors are my favorite, but I think Shy Shamrock is probably my top. And it, it surprises me because I would think I would gravitate towards Summer Splash, but because we have Coastal Cabana, yeah, I just, oh, I just love that Shy Shamrock. I just, I've been missing this green for a long time. So let's see what you guys said here. Um, Shy Shamrock, Jenny says Shy, Shy Shamrock, we're the same. Amanda says Shy, Shy Shamrock, whoo. Um, let's see, Petunia Pop, Pink or Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Summer Splash, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Shy Shamrock. I have not yet to get any of the in colors, so hard to say. Well, you could get them through my in color club and be spoiled like crazy. Shy Shamrock, then Summer Splash. The others are just okay. Yeah, feel you. Pretty in pink. Yeah, pink is awesome. And this is a returning color for those of you who have been around for a long time. Pretty in pink is a returning color from Stampin' Up. So I'm really excited that they brought that back. I'm a green person as well. Yep, Karen. Same, same, same. Yeah, pretty in pink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Bumblebee would be really nice too. So um, I'll tell you the one that was voted the top was Petunia Pop. That was the number one. 
followed by Summer Splash. Summer Splash was a, a, a really close second were the top popular colors um, at on stage. So, but yeah, I, I, I think these two are probably my faves, but this one's a great, it's a great purple to have. It's a purple that we don't have. Um, it has more of that pink in it and I really like it. Um, but yeah, all the colors are great. And I really, I even love peach pie. Like I'm just really happy with all the colors. It's definitely my year. Last year we had those autumn darker tones and then this year's back to the bright and beautiful and wonderful colors. Okay. Hearts and hugs. One of the, the first set I said I had to have the dyes, the cute little critters. This was the one I had to have. Um, and I, um, we'll be using this for in color club, um, for sure. So just a heads up on that. And then I wanted to show you, okay. So this was Amanda's, one of Amanda's, um, swaps at the retreat and she, it was just so cute. It says you color my world and it has the chameleon. And then as you scroll this, it changes the chameleon's colors. And I fell in love because you know me in color. Um, and I know that this isn't a, this is not a Stampin' Up! set, but Stampin' Up! has a very similar set to this. Um, and it's called Give Me a Whirl. And this set is one of the ones that is retiring. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl dies is retiring. It's actually on sale for 50% off right now. 154336. So if you want to get them before they retire, um, you're going to need to snag them now. They're on 50% off. Um, I said, I can use this set and make something like this using this. Now, um, if I wanted my critter to change color, I was thinking like a butterfly would be really cool. Like what other animals would be really cute to actually have their bodies change colors. Uh, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, and, and with this set, I didn't really think changing their colors would be appropriate. <laughs> it just it is not right. But I did, I do love this dye where it's like got the hearts kind of in this like arch. And so I thought, oh, what if our little mouse is sending hugs and the hearts change color? Isn't that cute? So I used the give it a whirl and I put colorful um paper behind it and i also made a rainbow sentiment sending birthday hugs and then i put our little hamster or gerbil or guinea pig or whatever you want to call them in the center of the heart and i have my little spin now this like i said this set is going away the give it a whirl that's why i've got the old dies and the new bundle together you can also see i've got this gorgeous embossing folder let me show you where's my embossing folder this embossing folder is so freaking cool this is called the dotted circles can you guys see the size let me show you the difference between the sizes here look at the size that not the coolest thing it's huge guys it takes up the entire um, big um, stamp and cut emboss machine and the dies are awesome now I also got these dies and they're the same size so some really cool die or I'm sorry embossing folders um, huge they're just gigantic I don't even know like it's they're so big but some really cute um, designs so that's part of the pre-order as well so I got myself some of those embossing folders and I made myself a little rainbow, rainbow hamster with a little mouse inside. So I thought this was super cute. So let's go ahead and make it. And then I will let you guys be on your way because I got things to do, places to be. And I know you do too. It just never ends. Okay. So let me show you guys how we're going to make this. Now to make this, I would recommend using um, watercolor paper for the colorful background. You love the fat gerbil? I know, me too. I know, the embossing folder is so big, Jenny. It's crazy. So I'm going to use the Fluid 100 Stampin' Up! watercolor paper. Because it's nice and thick and perfect for water. And <clears throat> I did some 
color, color science. I'm going to call it color science where I knew that mixing certain colors create, um, create new colors, right? So I knew that if I mixing, so I have like my rainbow color. So I've got red, red ink refill, and I've got yellow. And I knew that mixing red and yellow makes orange. So there's three colors there. Then I knew that I've got blue, and I knew that mixing yellow and blue makes green. And then I knew that red and blue make purple. So I was like, I got all the colors. So I only need three ink refills, and I'm going to get all of the colors I need for my rainbow. So um, you would want to get your paintbrush. I'm using the watercolor, I'm sorry, the water painters, and I'm getting the biggest water painter brush. And I'm actually going to use the water that's in this one to cover my, oh, that's blue, um, to cover my paper. So I want my paper to be nice and wet. So I'm just squeezing water out of the brush like this. Get it nice and wet. Because the wetter the paper is, the more the water's going to, or the color's going to travel. And it won't look so placed. And you only need a little bit, okay? You only need a little bit of, I'm just using a block. I also have this glass, glass mat. I could do it right on the glass mat, but I'm just going to do one drop. That's all you need. One drop of each. I'm going to give them some space. Because we're going to do some mixing. Okay. So... <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of pull my color two different directions, okay? So the first one I'm going to do is yellow, so I'm just going to drop my yellow in at different random places on the paper. And then I'm going to pull in a different color, like blue, to get my green. And then I can drop my green in. Okay, so then I'm going to go back into my blue. Uh-oh, I'm running out of water. Drop my blue in. Now I'm going to pull in some red and make purple. And you want to be careful as you're mixing because you don't want to um, get too muddy. Okay, clean off the purple. Now we're going to do red. I love how it flowers up like that. It's so cool. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to mix red and yellow. I feel like I need a little bit more yellow to make orange. Get some orange in there. And we've got a rainbow, guys. Look at that. Look at that tie-dye. Isn't that pretty? Okay. <clears throat> Just getting the paint or the ink right out of my brushes. Where's my lid for this? Oh, right in front of my face. Isn't that cool? No, Karen, they should be 50% off already. The sales already started. Maybe it looks like it's on. Did you add it to the cart, Karen? Um, because let me make sure I'm right. Got my printed list here. Give it a whirl dies. 50% off. They're $19.50. Like it looks like all the dies are on sale. So give it a world that I should be 50% off and it should be now. So, oh, it's the ninth. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It's the ninth. So it starts on Tuesday. I'm sorry. I apologize. Starts on Tuesday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It'll start on Tuesday. 50% um, off the dies. Okay. I apologize. I've been 
well, you know how I am on a good day, but okay. I got to meet, I got to meet Jenny at on stage. I got to meet Linda. There were so many people that I got to meet. It was amazing. Got to hug Jenny. Me and, Je you know, Jenny and I have been online friends for years. I don't know how long, huh, Jenny? We finally got to meet each other in person. I got to meet my tall friends like Vicky and Kelly. They were tall just like me. And it was like, yay. <laughs> it was awesome. It's my favorite part. The people are my favorite part. Okay, so I'm drying this paper because I need it to be dry so that I can die cut it. It doesn't take too long to dry. It's pretty quick. The water evaporates pretty fast. I have been so busy, but that's okay. That's all right. There's a lot going on at Stampin' Up. It's really hard to keep it all on track. So we're gonna get our little Almost done. Be patient with me. Almost done. That's something in my eye. Oh. Okay. That should be good. All right. So look at this. I just love it. So cute. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to die cut. There's so many dies in this set. So we need this one here and we need this guy here. And so we're going to cut our little kaleidoscope so you can find you know, where you, where you think most of the colors are represented, you know, where it's the most bright, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. I really like this one right here. This is going to be it. Okay. So we're going to die cut that. Now the heart that I used for behind the gerbil or the hamster or the guinea pig, whatever, um, is the heart from, uh, hooray for surprises. So I just also cut out a heart out of the paper so that I had a little rainbow heart to work with. And then we need a piece of basic black for the um, for the front, okay? So this is what we're gonna die cut. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna be sad to see these dies go. There's a lot of dies that are retiring that I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> I mean, there's always new fun things to play with, but still, I have a hard time <laughs> letting go of the old stuff. I know, Amanda, I'm excited for the Close to My Heart merge as well. Um, <clears throat> I am excited to see the more scrapbooking um, focus. Uh, I think that they are kind of shifting that focus a little bit into scrapbooking more which is awesome. Um, I'm glad that they seized that opportunity to welcome Close to My Heart and to, yeah, expand their offerings. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, I know this year is going to be just mostly to the Close to My Heart people and then hopefully expand on to the rest of us. So lots of changes happening this year within Stampin' Up!, um, it's going to be really exciting and crazy, and I can't wait. Okay, so before I emboss this, I need to cut my hearts. I realized that after I did it the first time, um, when I embossed first and then cut the hearts out, it flattens the, the dots, and so I had to emboss it again. And so I recommend getting your hearts die cut first. Oh, that was the other thing. Is, so the brad that I use, these brads, they're going away too. So um, everything to make this project is going away. 
So make sure you get your brads. I know you can probably order brads from other online stores. Um, also, you want to make sure that your hearts aren't too far up. You want to make sure that that you don't cut them too high or else <laughs> then they won't be rainbow. Yeah, you like the ephemera packs, Terry? They, they, yeah, they are coming out with quite a few ephemera packs that'll be fun for scrapbooking. There's some pretty cute stuff coming. Okay, so now that I've got my hearts cut out of the top section, now we can emboss it. So we're gonna use that new, cute, gorgeous, this one's called the Dotted Circles Embossing Folder. And I just kind of want to um, center the, the circle around the little circle in the center of my cardstock. And then we need regular plate and then the blue adapter plate. Run that through. Okay, so then we've got the cute little dots. All right. So we're going to get our brad. Put this away. And I got a black brad because it's on black cardstock, and that kind of makes sense, right? Because you don't want the brad to be seen. Though my, I positioned the head of the hamster or the gerbil um, or the guinea pig. Um, in the over top of the brad so you couldn't see it anyway but so we're just going to put the brad through test it out look at those pretty hearts it just makes me so happy to see all the colors changing i love it okay so there's that now we're going to put this on a base a card base a regular basic black card base let's see if i can find one I'm trying to be better about using my scrap drawer. My scrap drawer is full of things. Full of useful things, but not a card base. Ugh. Grab my basic black. And I still have lots of this rainbow watercolor paper that I can use for another project too. You could even cut a slice and put it on the inside of your card. Like you can cut a slice down and you know have it at the top as a little banner or even over here or over here on the side. I mean, there's so many fun ways that you can use this paper. Don't let it go to waste. All right, so I'm gonna just cut this down to five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter for my card base. And then we're going to take a scrap of basic white to stamp our gerbil. So this is going to be glued to the front here and we need to put this up on dimensionals because we don't want it to hinder our, like if we glue this down, it'll hinder the spin of the um, wheel. So we want to pop it up on dimensionals so that it can spin freely. That should be plenty. I love that using the sides of my dimensionals. Okay, so there's that. And we'll pop that up on our base. And I love rainbow with black because it just makes it pop. Check it out. I love that little pop of yellow that comes through. So pretty. All right, so I got my heart. My heart is gonna be right below the brad. So I'm gonna put this on with some dimensionals as well. Maybe. One, two, and three should do it. So we're gonna put that underneath 
the brad. Okay, and then I know that my little hamster will cover the brad. There's the brad. You can barely see it. It blends into the background and it spins. Okay, so we'll get our little gerbil guy. I love, love, love that this set has dyes. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you about this set, when you're putting the stickers on it, make sure you put the stickers on the negative space in the centers that they've got cut out because I I am keeping these because they're going to make perfect cow spots. You can use the rubber and stamp them and they will make cow spots in different shapes. So, you know, with the cow set that we have, you have different cow shapes that you can stamp to make the cow background um, or whatever. So keep those center pieces. Do not throw them away. Make sure you put the clinging back on them. Um, there is cling um, for them, so just make sure you stick them on so you can use them for little cow spots or whatever. They make good, good backgrounds. Okay. All right, so let's get our block and ink up our little gerbil. A brand new pack of dimensionals, Terry. <laughs> Nothing's better, huh? Also, those of you who are doing my lavender album class next week, mine and Terry's lavender album class, um, I kids are going out in the mail tomorrow, and um, I will send out the tutorial and the Zoom link today. So be watching for that. If you don't get a link, an email today, then you need to message me because it didn't go through and um, I'll need to resend it to you or figure out why it didn't go through. So now you can color your gerbil, hamster, rodent um, any way you want. You can leave his cheeks white. You can leave his belly white. You can leave the whole gerbil white. You can make him brown. You can make him spotted. I like the idea of leaving his belly, his belly and his cheeks white, and use light flirty flamingo for the nose and the cheekies and the ears and the hands. Imagine taking all those hearts in different colors and like stringing it like he's holding a string of hearts. Wouldn't that be really cute? Like have some ribbon and the hearts are just glued to the ribbon. Be super cute. Okay, and then for, because I want this to look realistic, I'm gonna use my color lifter, soften the edges of the white areas where it meets the color. Cute. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is what we got going on here so far. We're going to go ahead and die cut him out. <clears throat> I did him all brown last time, but this time I left his tummy white. Okay, so let's go ahead and die cut. Sorry, I just swish out the plates. So we're going to die cut him, and then we also want to die cut the label. Um, so there's a label die in this set that we will cut out. Just cut it out diagonally right there, along with our little gerbil. Oh, I used, what do you mean what blend am I using, Jenny? I used light crumb cake with Flirty Flamingo accent, and then I used the color lifter to blend around his tummy to, to make it, um, to leave it white. The color lifter. So light crumb cake, color lifter, and Flirty Flamingo are the three blends I used. Okay. I'm a blends lover. All right, so now for the sentiments, I'm gonna be using Sending Birthday Hugs, which I thought I had it on a die. 
or on a, sending birthday hugs. Let's put it on a block and I'll show you how I made it rainbow. Okay. So sending birthday hugs. I got my rainbow colors. Okay. And I took, these are stamp and write markers and you can do this with stamp and write markers. You can color directly on your stamps and then use it like an ink, um, like you would stamp. So I'm gonna do just the rainbow. <clears throat> I'm gonna start out with red, orange. Does anybody else sing the song in their head? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, purple too. <laughs> So you just want to make sure it's nice and inky. So the Stampin' Right colors that I used were um, Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, uh, Pacific Point and Highland Heather, but you know, you can do any kind of, as long as they're rainbow colors. <sighs> so you want to huff it. <sighs> you can see the, you know, the moisture from my breath. I want to get it nice and moist so that it will ink real well. Stamp that in the middle of the label. And then look what you got. Sending birthday hugs. Oh, I, it bled a little bit, but that's okay. You got it in rainbow. Okay, so now we're gonna glue our little gerbil to the center of our rainbow heart. Okay, and see his little head's covering the brad. You can't see the brad anymore. And then we're gonna put our label down in the front. This is an easy card, right? It's not even that hard. Oh yeah, Roy Roy G. Biv. I remember that one too. And the reason I remember that one is because my dad's name is Roy. Okay. Uh, put that there in the middle. Oop, not crooked. So cute. Look at him. Okay, so I stamped my heart, or I die cut my hearts a little higher up this time, so they're a little further away from the gerbil. It, either way is fine, right? Like, so I just placed it a little lower, this one. So there's our, there's our little gerbils. And then for the inside, I did just a piece of uh, basic white cardstock, and I stamped a mouse. So let me cut one down. The mouse hugging the heart because this is a birthday card. And so I can write a little birthday message on the inside. So I'm just gonna leave it. I do wanna put though, I, I do like that idea of cutting down my leftover um, paper, my leftover, uh, why can't I speak? My leftover watercolor paper. I'm wondering if I should just leave it like that. I kind of like it. Let me cut it down to four inches. And then this can just go across the bottom like that. It's kind of cute. And then we can put the mouse up above it. So let me glue this down. Actually, let me stamp my mouse first and then I can decide where I want my rainbow paper. Because I kind of want him to look like he's standing on it. And I think I might switch it. There we go. Like that. And then little hearts. There's a little heart stamp set or a little heart stamp um, in there. And I just did like that. Cute. Okay. And then let's glue this little rainbow strip. Thank you. Okay.
<laughs> so cute. Okay, and then um, for the little mouse. Now, I wanted to leave my mouse white in the other one, but I didn't. I ended up coloring it brown with the light crumb cake, but I think I'm gonna leave this mouse white because a lot of mice that I know, because <laughs> I know so many mice, a lot of mice that I know are white. Now, when you're gonna leave something white, I recommend doing some shading with like a light crumb cake or a light smoky slate, um, just so that it gives it a little bit of dimension. So I know it's kind of, I'll bring it up closer so you guys can see it, but. So like in, when you're leaving something white, that's totally fine, but you need to do some shading. Um, sorry, my, you need to do some shading so that it give it's not so flat looking. So I'm just going to go around and put some shadow around the mouse. And then if you feel like it, you've gone too heavy with the shadow, you can also um, use your color lifter and remove some of the color that you added. So I'm gonna color the little heart red. Now, if you are not a demonstrator, but you want to get all of the pre-order stuff early, you want to get in-color stuff early, you want to be on my team because you love how I spoil my team and you want to be part of the cool club, you can start buy the starter kit and in the starter kit, you can have all of the pre-order stuff. Not all of it, but like you can, you can add pre-order stuff to your starter kit. So that is a perk for, um, for getting the starter kit, um, you get $125 in product for $99, free shipping, um, and then you get a discount on all of your future purchases. So it's definitely an amazing deal. Um, no penalty if you don't make your minimums and drop, but it's a great deal to take advantage of. So um, there's my cute little mouse. I'm going to glue him into my card. The other thing, uh, one of the perks of being on my team is I give a spiral bound catalog to my team every year. So I will be doing that. Um, if you do my catalog launch, that's another way to get a spiral bound catalog. Um, I will be doing spiral bound catalogs for all my um, catalog launch attendees. Um, so you'll get one of those. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow so much, you guys. Look at our little happy, our happy critters. This is the cutest set ever, ever, ever. So fun. All right, you guys. Okay, that is it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, stay safe. And um, I will draw a winner now for those in-color gems before I say goodbye officially. And let's go ahead and do that now. Let me share my screen. Go to the giveaway tool. 23 entries. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Tammy again. My goodness. Congrats, Chica. That is two weeks in a row, I believe, that you won. So congratulations. I actually have your other prize here. I need to, like, drive your way and just drop it off at your porch. So congrats, and thank you, everybody, for watching. You guys have a fantastic week. We will talk to you next week. Bye.